everyone Christian here and I have a new and interesting palm to show you guys this is not a palm you'll see just anywhere it's quite uncommon especially in this size I wouldn't say it's rare because you can go and get seeds of this plant for very cheap on uh, some uh, seed sites but a plant in a 15 gallon size like this is quite rare in fact back in the day this palm was extremely expensive it was hundreds of dollars a gallon this is a 15 gallon plant so if you do the math you can kind of understand how much this plant would have been uh, even 10 years ago or even seven eight years ago so um this is this is dipsis manangerensis it is from the manangari area of madagascar and its common name is the mealybug palm because it looks like it has mealybugs all over the newest petiole in fact it, it looks like it on the other uh, petioles and rachis as well but it's most pronounced on the newest one that kind of fades over time. And uh, so that's where it gets its common name. And uh, it also has these irregular leaflets. I get out of this. You can see it kind of has uh, kind of six leaflets and then two. Let me get that leaf out of there. Then two, and then it kind of goes to four, and then two, and then four. So it, and they kind of twist a little bit, so they're not all on the same plane. It kind of has a neat look to it. Uh, unfortunately, this one's kind of windblown, so you know what it really looks like is is kind of hard to uh, show you. Even if I pulled this all the way out into the open, um, so <clears throat> this palm also has a very uh, decent sized heel to it. Now, a lot of uh, uh, genera have this. Sables have it. Uh, Dipsis has it. Um, a lot of the bigger plants will have this uh, phenomenon. And basically, what it is is like a brain for the root system. Once the palm becomes a more mature size it kind of just kind of rots away and the roots kind of go will go where they will but make sure when you're repotting a plant to do not bury the heel of the palm um, it likes to be out like this it kind of gathers water as well and it, it comes out to kind of just establish itself so that's something to know about palms uh, having a healed palm like that make sure that you do not bury the heel on that palm because oftentimes it will actually rot the roots starting from the <clears throat> the base of the, you know, the brain of the root system and so uh, this palm has somewhat of a cult following uh, in many areas of uh, the world, including uh, California, where um, a well-known collector, I won't name his name, he went to Madagascar, he brought back some, uh, some plants. There were some of these, and they were sold for some pretty insane prices. And uh, they, the collector has now passed away. But uh, he was somewhat of a controversial figure, and, and as a result, so this plant, when it's, it's when it's the first few collections of the seed, uh, were were quite, were quite highly sought after, and people kind of were lured by this my mysterious person that had all these interesting plants. And I think that's kind of been uh, people understand that it was that was kind of a, just a, a sales gimmick, for lack of a better term. I hate to say that, but uh, there's. I don't want to get into what really happened. It's not really my place to, and uh, but it is an interesting story. Maybe one day I will tell it separately, uh, my feelings about it, because I really don't. My, it's not like I'm. I don't have any fear of what's you know of someone getting mad at me about what I have to say about it. But there's a there's kind of two sides to a story, um, and so as a result, because this, this palm has a lot of controversy surrounding it, it it kind of like shot up in value. So. Um, it's and it's kind of interesting how that happened, but it happened, and nonetheless, uh, that's a whole other video, and uh, it involves you know a lot of other stories to be told. So, getting back to this actual palm, um, so it's in a 15 gallon. It's probably about 10 years old. Um, it will start to grow a little bit faster now that it, now that it is bigger, but it is quite a slow grower. It does grow, um, in it grows in uh, what I call what we call uh, open canopy. So what it, basically what you want. It's like a, it's filtered sunlight. And then when it gets older, it can grow in full sun if you wanted to. It kind of looks best in Florida in partial shade. Uh, so the if you if you want to get seed of this, this is readily available um, on sites like rarepalmseeds.com. And the seed is very tiny. It's one of the smallest seeds I've seen besides Hemithrinax. It is uh, it's just a tiny little dots, um, and it is. Uh, uh, you know, you can get a thousand of them for like 20 bucks and you can just throw them all in a pot. You know, your typical uh, mix of like perlite, uh, pine bark, which is kind of what you're seeing here, just perlite and pine bark and, uh, you know, some rocks and stuff like that. And just 
uh, give it plenty of heat, and it's basically growing like your typical palm. There's nothing special about growing this palm. It's just going to be slower. Uh, it's going to be kind of a, you know, you got to have some patience to kind of get this thing up to some size. But when it does start getting this reddish color in the petiole, when it opens new leaves, you'll really be satisfied that you did take the, take the time out to grow the plant. So um, when this does kind of get out in the open, I might do like an updated version of this vlog. But uh, there are also other palms like this that look almost identical to this. In fact, there's a theory about uh, Dipsis, uh, certain species having like twins, and the, the twin to Menangerensis would be Dipsis malcumberi, which looks pretty much identical. It has some different flowers to it, but it has the mealybug part, and it is kind of like a, a fake Menangerensis, uh, so to speak. So anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Um, I hope this was a, uh, it enjoy. I hope you enjoyed watching the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And you'll see more cool palm videos like this. And if you have any questions about Dipsis or Dipsis menangerensis, uh, sort of the bigger solitary trunked ones, leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Alrighty, thanks for watching.